All right, ladies and gentlemen out there, this right here, what I'm showing you, this is 2003 Sterling model type S with the eight speed manual transmission, air horns, lights, everything. You know, I'm going to be showing you guys today how to shift one of these things. So let's hop on in. Let's give this thing a shot. See what we got here. Let it dump. I don't really want to do this on a road with cars, you know, and record because texting and talking on the phone and all that stuff is illegal in my state. So I want to just do this real quick. I'm gonna start off by showing you guys. You know, you got your normal, you know, splitter, high low range. Your standard eight speed, first four at the low second four at the top. This is your normal shifting pattern where your first is right there, your second is here, your third is up here, fourth is right here, split it up, so forth. Fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth. Split it down. This is your park brake. I'm going to engage the clutch and I'm going to put my foot on the brake. I'm going to push in the park brake. I'm going to put the vehicle in first gear. I'm going to ease off the clutch till I feel a little tension in the, in the truck is pulling itself. Then I'll let my foot off the brake and notice the truck will begin to move. Once the truck begins to go, I'll let all the way off the clutch and I'm going to just give it a little gas to however speed I need it to get up to. And this model here, which is a single axle truck, I normally ship around 2500 RPMs. The ground speed, transmission speed, an acceleration speed will initiate your shift. I normally downshift between 10 and 1200 RPMs. So let's give her a shift here. Look. I double clutch. I clutch neutral and I clutch gear. That's how I got my shift. Let's try it again. That's third gear. That easy. I'm going to show you guys. When I go into fourth gear, I'm going to show you guys my foot, what I did, in order to get it to shift. Let me show you. A little dirty down there. Give it some gas. Clutch neutral. Clutch gear. And that's, sorry about the lighting. And that's simply it. You just double clutch on your upshift. Let's give it a try. We're at an intersection here, but as you can see, there's no cars. It's like a deserted road. So let's see. I'm in first. Let's see if you guys get a better view. Double clutch neutral, clutch gear. Clutch neutral, clutch gear. Clutch neutral, clutch gear. Clutch neutral, clutch gear. I'm in the high range now. I'm in fifth gear. I'm coming to an intersection. I need to stop. So I'm going to slow it down. So my shifting RPM, clutch neutral, quick rev, put it down, clutch gear. And it's as simple as that. Now I'm in fourth gear, that quick. I'll show you guys again for those of you who didn't catch it the first time. I'm at a red light now, so I'm going to wait for the light to change before I go because in my state, if you run a red light, you get a ticket. I'm going to go ahead on and engage the clutch, then I'm going to put her in first. Waiting for the light. My RPM sits somewhere around seven or eight hundred RPMs at an idle. As soon as this light change, sorry about that. Continue on. Okay, so there we go. I go, clutch neutral, clutch gear. Clutch neutral, clutch gear. Clutch neutral, clutch gear. Clutch neutral, clutch gear. I'm in the high range now. I'm in fifth gear. Clutch neutral, clutch gear. And then I'm going to show you guys how to drop a gear. You clutch neutral, quick rev on the accelerator, clutch gear. And she should go right in every time and you shouldn't have any problems if you do it exactly how I show you. Clutch neutral, clutch gear on your upshift. Clutch neutral, quick rev on the accelerator, clutch gear on your downshift. If you do it exactly how I show you, you should have no problems when it comes to driving a straight 8-speed manual transmission 
dump truck, track the trailer, anything of that sort. They all run the same. And they actually operate better with the load. I'm actually empty right now, so my truck is really bouncy, so that's why my video is like how it is. And that pretty much sums it up, guys. So any questions or concerns, feel free to comment on my page, and I reply the same day. If you have any questions, don't forget to subscribe to me. You guys can look me up on you can follow me on Twitter at WEV186. See you later.